hello friends we are back with a new video on our youtube channel so today we are going to automate this uh, buy now button make offer the workflow of how this works and stay tuned with me so yeah so today we will use the dev version of the get auto clicker so i as you can see i have already created a new configuration which is completely blank so i will go here copy the url and paste it here yeah so this number is dynamic so and uh, as you want our extension to work on this assets only we will keep this if you want to have work this open sea on a different asset you can change the url from here okay and let me disable the advanced mode so let to see the things more clearly so you can you know even name this as murakami flowers so that you can easily identify which uh, which is the configuration for this done and now i am back to my this page and now i will try to automate on buy now button so i will right click it inspect it and i see it is a button and there is a text within that which is buy now so i press ctrl f here and then slash slash button contains text so i can directly write this everything for you and give it but you know uh, i just want to make you also understand that how it is working so that you can also change it as per your need so as you can see as soon as we have typed the entire text and it has showing this it has found one of one matching and it is also highlighting the button which is uh, going to be clicked so i just copy this paste it in the element finder and we can leave the value as a blank so leaving blank is means it will click it it will trigger a click event okay i will come back to this page i will refresh this so that extension will start working on it and the page is still loading so our extension will trigger once the page has loaded completely so you can see this uh, pop-up is appeared whenever we click on the buy now button okay so first step is done so now i will try to click on this checkbox so it is very simple as we have id on this so you can just copy the id i will add a new action here and i will add hash which is for id and leave this blank so uh, we need a, a gap between these two clicks as the pop-up need to open so i have added 0.25 so that uh, once the buy now button is clicked it will wait for 0.25 seconds it is 0.25 seconds it's not uh, 25 seconds it's just a 0.25 seconds and then it will click on the terms and service okay so once i click on that i can even automate the same now on this button also so we can see there is a button and within that button there is a span and within the span there is a confirm checkout so either if there is any id or class which specifies this is the checkout button you can use that or you can simply uh, add one more layer here like this and we can say like within button there is a span and within the span there is confirm checkout oops there was button. yeah so you can see the button is getting highlighted now the button is disabled you can see the confirm button is disabled so even if you trigger a click event it will not work because the button is disabled because i don't have that much uh, uh funds in my wallet this is just for testing purpose so i will just show you how it will work so i will go back to my configuration page and i will add a new action and i will add this action here that's it i will refresh the page and see if it is automating page is still loading it will click on buy now you see the checkbox is checked and it has clicked this but as there is uh, no enough ethereum in my uh, wallet it is not uh, processing that event okay now we will try for the add funds instead of checkout so you can see this is a button and within the button there is the text add funds so let me change that to add funds and there is no span within that copy yep so i replace the checkout button with the add funds and let's see the process again 
So I will do refresh here. Mm. So that's on about the ad funds. Now we will try to automate the make offer button. Okay. So I will simply disable this and create a new configuration with the same URL. Okay. So this one I will write it as make offer. Now, instead of the first click here previously was buy now, I will now target for make offer. So you can see this is a button and within the button there is a text called make offer. I will paste it here. I will copy the button LX path and I will paste it here. That's it. We no need to add value here and refresh and see. Similar uh, pop up has appeared. Let me check for both if it's the similar pop up or okay. It's let me add a wait of two seconds just to make sure like it is clicking this button properly. I refresh this and once the page is loaded it will wait two seconds then it will click okay so so we will change this to one second okay so one second is enough and here comes the quantity field then the amount field and the days and the time and clicking on this one and then convert to ethereum or make offer as my make an offer button is uh, disabled even then I will try to create an X path for this make an offer only so first we will fill for the quantity field so we will go here we inspect this element and here is the element and we will try to find something uh, unique oh so ID is there so we, that's the best thing we can use so I will copy and I will add a new action so I have added the quantity with the ID and we need to add some seconds before this pop-up appears so I will add added the quantity and I will add two quantities here and I will add a new actions and that action will be this amount so I will select inspect uh, and I don't see any ID here but we have a placeholder amount so we can use that Okay, you can see one of one is selected. So I have added this placeholder attribute here and use the input uh, field type here. So this is the input field type. You can check on my document page how how we can do this and amount I will add amount as 200. I think that will be more than enough just to pass this. Okay, and even though if we fill an amount uh, then we have one checkbox so let's check okay it's a TOS checkbox only so we will add new action hash T O S add new action this is for that button so make an offer button this is a button and within that there is a text make offer so it's very simple you can see this button button contains text make an offer and I will paste this make an offer here I know this will not work as uh, it is disabled I will just run and show you everything process works fine or not so the page is loading page has loaded completely it opened then it added the quantity to the value 200 and the checkbox also it has filled and it has clicked this one also but then it showed this error that the not enough WETH to make the offer so uh, that error message come because we have clicked this and it is disabled so this is all the process of making offer please do let me know in the comment section if you like this video and if you can also connect it on our discord channel to understand the workflow and to create a new workflow for your process or website whichever you want thank you